Hello and welcome to Tech Talks. My name is Lisa and I'm the Digital Services Librarian at St. Albert Public Library. And this week I would like to show you an eMovie database called Canopy. And this is free with your library card. So to get to Canopy, you're going to go to our website, sapple.ca, and then you'll click on eLibrary. And then if we go a little bit further down the page, there's a couple of ways you can get to Canopy. You can either sort it by movies and TV, and that will bring up three different databases, or we can scroll through. So we're just gonna go a little further down. And here is Canopy here on the left. We're going to tap on more. I'm recording on an iPad, so this might look quite a bit different if you're on a computer or a smartphone. So here's the information about Canopy. So what is Canopy? It is actually streaming films, and they're for all ages. There's Canopy Kids that are for children, and then over 30,000 films for adults in Canopy. And we recently increased the number of borrows per month and now we have raised it to 10. So that was a couple months ago that we did that. And there are apps for desktop, Apple and Android and they're all on this page here and there's Canopy Help here. So let's just jump in and see what this looks like. So when you are first setting up Canopy, it will ask you to create an account It'll ask for your library card number and PIN, and then you'll have to put an email address in and create a password. And once you do that, you'll be into Canopy. And this is the home page of Canopy. So you can see there's lots of different, different collections, world cinema, trending, credit free. Now that's something I wanted to show you. Right now, and it's just for a limited time, Canopy has something called credit free viewing. So these are titles that will not count towards those 10 borrows per month. So you can watch as much as you want in this credit free viewing right here, and it will not count towards your 10 borrows per month. And they also have some newly added movies. They've got some, the great courses. We'll look at those later, but you can see there's lots of different collections in here. So how do you use Canopy? There's a few different ways you can do it. You can browse and then you can browse by genre. So let's say you are really into documentaries. You can tap on documentaries. So now these are all the subjects you can browse by. So you can see within documentaries, it breaks it down. So let's look at science, nature, and technology and see what it brings up. There we are. And they have most popular first. They've got all the different types of science. So fairly easy to use. And you can see recently added. So that's a nice, nice thing to know that you can see what's recently added in that subject. Let's look at a different one here. You can access the great courses on Canopy. Now you can get to it a few different ways. In this case, I'm not going to browse because I know I want the great courses. So I'm just going to type the great courses and I know it's popping up things, ignore it. We don't want those. And now we're just going to search that. There we go. So you can see I got a whole bunch of results. Now you can also see if it's actually the great courses under suppliers. So I'm going to tap on the great courses and here we go. So you can take as many great courses as you want. And the nice thing about the great courses, these do not count towards your monthly borrows either. So you can watch as many great courses as you want. So you can see there's lots of different things. So I'm just gonna tap on one of them and we're just gonna tap right on there and I wanna see what the description is. And of course it knows I'm on a uh, on iPad, so it's it's being difficult because it wants to open it in the app. Well, you know what, we'll pop to the app just for a minute. Okay, so now we're in Canopy. So if we tap on the cover here, this is the Canopy app for Apple. You can see the information, it does a synopsis, it gives you some details. And if you wanted to borrow it, all you would do is tap on the play button and now you have it. Now something to note about Canopy is these are only streaming. You cannot download them. So streaming only, but great content. So that's as easy as it is. Each film is checked out for three days. You can't renew it or you, and you can't place them on hold. They're always available, but you get them for three days. Now those are all the adult collections, but something else that you have with Canopy is Canopy Kids. So I'm just going to pop Canopy open again. And we'll just pop in there. So you'll notice up here on the upper right, you can see that I have my account there, but do you see where it says go to Canopy Kids? If I tap on that, and again, if you're on the app, you will also have it pop there. And of course it's saying it wants me to go to the apps. If you are on a, the app or on the browser, you can get to Canopy Kids this way. And there is lots of content for kids. 
And again, another nice thing about Canopy Kids, this does not count towards your 10 borrows per month either. So you can watch as much content as you'd like in the 30 days. And Canopy Kids has a little bit of everything. It has story times, it has some of the quick flicks, some of the most popular movies, it has TV shows like Arthur and Sesame Street, lots of popular things. There are movies. Here's our story time here. Adventure, and then they actually get into quite a bit into science and technology. There's some classic tales. So you'll see a few things in there that you might recognize. And they also have language learning, which is really great. The little PIM series that you may have had out on DVD is in here as well. And just like the canopy for adults, you can tap on browse and it will bring up the different categories. So we're going to look at story time. That's just thinking about it. There we go. So you can see it sorts up by the most popular. There are 210 videos. If I tap on story time, just scroll through and you can have a look and see. So we're just going to tap on Scaredy Squirrel. You can see the descriptions right there. And if you wanted to watch it, you would just tap watch. The other thing you can do is tap add to my list. So if you don't want to do, check it out right now, but you want to remember what one it was, you can just say add to my list. And now if I tap in the upper right where you see the S, and you'll see my watch list, you can see it is now added there. So it's kind of like it'll keep track of what, um, what you want to watch, but you haven't watched yet. So nice handy feature. So lots of content on Canopy Kids, and it does not count at all towards your borrow. So we're going to swap back and you can see here in the upper right, I'm in Canopy Kids. If I want to go back, I can exit Canopy Kids. Viewing history is everything that you've watched so far. Parental controls. If you are in Canopy Kids, you can turn those on or off, depending on what you'd like to do. So we're going to exit back to the regular Canopy for adults. And it's just taking a second. So fantastic content on here. I would highly recommend that you check it out and it's all free with your library card. Thank you.